Hey, what is going on, guys? ECFN recently introduced some new features that allow you to enable a custom FOV and disable pre-edit. So in today's video, I'll show you how to turn those on. And I'm also going to show you how to turn on edit on release, reset on release, and sprint by default as they have made it significantly easier to turn on those features as well. Now, the great news is we will not be doing this in game. We'll do it through the launcher, which means you don't need an insert key. I know a lot of you are struggling with that, so this should be a lot easier. And with that, let's jump into it. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is head over to the settings tab, which is on the left side of the launcher, and then you're going to see your options. Edit on release, reset on release, disable pre-edit, sprint by default. To enable them, just click on this button and push it to the right, and that will enable these features. Now, it is important that for the vast majority of you, pretty much I would say all four of these you should enable. There are certain people that are really quick at editing that might find it faster to disable edit on release, but I think for most of you, I recommend having these two on. Disable pre-edits, pre pretty much everybody should have that on. Um, very few situations where you need pre-edits and sprint by default, you're gonna want that on. There's very few situations where you need to be walking. Now let's talk about field of view. The default is 80, you can set it as low as 60 or as high as 120. Now for sure, you don't wanna set it below 80. That doesn't make any sense because in theory, at super long range, it might help you as you'll be able to see your enemies a little bit better. The problem is at close range, you're decreasing your FOV heavily, which will mean you'll have less situational awareness, so that is definitely not the way to go. Going up, though, could make sense. This is something that was possible in ERA previously. I tried it in, like, Season 6, where I tried 85, 90, 95 FOV. It definitely is a nice advantage at close range as you have a much wider field of view. So, for example, if somebody's right above you, right below you, or even to your sides, you can see much better where they are. It kind of does the same thing as stretch resolution, but you don't have the disadvantage of your game looking arguably weird. Some of you might argue stretch looks great. Some of you might not like it. That's personal preference, but you won't have that uh, drawback. But there is a major drawback that I do need to show you. Now I'm pulling up this footage from ERA season six, but the exact same situation can happen. So whenever you have a scoped weapon, if you increase your FOV, it will disconnect your view from the scope. And as you can see, that's practically unusable. What that means is basically snipers will not be usable. The hunting rifle will still work as it doesn't have a scope. Uh, it doesn't have a scope, but heavy sniper, not really going to work. Bolt action, not really going to work great. Also, things like scope they are are also not going to work very well. So it is a serious drawback. Um, depending on your play style, if you don't use any scope weapons, you might just be able to ignore this problem as every other weapon is not an issue, but just something to keep in mind there. If you're having this issue and you know you find it too annoying, set your FOV back to 80 and that should resolve the problem. So with that, I hope this video was helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.